Most people in America are familiar with our rights, where they begin and end, and in truth, everyone actually knows this. But what's amazing to me is how people screw up their lives because they choose to deny where their rights begin and end. And the truth is, the minute that you start to lie, you begin to deny your rights. Now, there certainly are pieces of information that we don't disclose, and you openly have the absolute right to say, I'm sorry, don't disclose that. There are certainly photographs that we keep in our own personal portfolio, our own personal portfolio, our own personal photo album, that we don't always show to all people that we've just met. And I absolutely know that some women at a particular shop that I purposely showed only a couple photographs to got into my pockets late at night to look at the rest of them without my permission because they were basically abused after that. What I'm telling you people is that you don't have the right to put your hands on anyone. We absolutely know the power of human touch, but at the same time, you don't have the right to presume that some man likes you like that. And you don't have the right to presume that and assume that you have the right to touch someone like that. You see, even putting your hands in someone's pocket can be categorized as abuse because basically what it is is saying, I'm in power and you are going to be used. I've had money come and go from my pockets and what I think about the most is, you know, I'm a pretty nice guy. And if I've seen you several times in a neighborly fashion and you are truly struggling and God says, give him some money, I'll do that. I have had many times on campus when my pal Jeff has been sitting there and I've maybe only had a handful of pocket change left for my day at that point moment in the early morning when I'm getting my breakfast and God will say, plant him with that cash. Give him that change. And it might be not more than a quarter, but I'll do that because God says to. Other times I might be passing by somebody I see a million times a day and God will say, don't do that. He'll be more than cared for by the blacks and white women of the community. And then I don't worry about that. What I have noticed is how quickly Americans of all colors, shapes, and sizes will automatically choose to give a black person money in poverty over a white person, and I can almost predict that. You see, what we've heard all our lives is that blacks are impoverished. What I see, however, growing in the community is a lot of black affluence, sometimes more than me, and I'm okay with that, because that is the history and heritage of the forefathers that came before them that earned their rights to do that that gained their employment, that gained the business revenue, that did things right, and openly achieved great successes. And they have the right to pass that on to their children, that mentality, that success orientation, that philosophy, or those finances.